With so many people traveling for the holidays, the likelihood of spotting a human trafficking situation is higher. That's why Call to Freedom is reminding everyone to be observant. Today, we stop by the nonprofit's office to find out what warning signs you should look out for. Whether you're driving or flying this holiday season, there are a lot of ways to look out for someone being trafficked. Airports are prime places to spot a victim. Things like one way tickets are big red flags. If they don't have their identification, controlled environment, they don't make a lot of eye contact with you um, simply for the fact they're fearful as well. Um, or they can't, um, they have a re rehearsed or scripted response to you is also another red flag. You don't have to be flying across the country to spot a problem. Trafficking warning signs are everywhere, and the best thing you can do is take lots of notes. Do not engage the situation for yourself. If you can see a license plate number, um, where did you see them, what were they wearing, as much detail as you can remember to give law enforcement is, is really important. Once you have your notes, call authorities. If you're in Sioux Falls, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. Otherwise, you can contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline for help. Every little bit can help police who might already be following the case. We've actually worked with several clients because a community member who was concerned reported something to Crime Stoppers. A simple act could make a big difference for a victim of this horrific crime. It was important for the community to learn the signs, get educated, be able to identify and know how to report it because you could save somebody's life. Call to Freedom will be hosting a fundraising concert and prayer service on January 20th at Central Church. Christian musicians from the group Bethel will be performing. You can find ticket information with this story at kelloland.com.